Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to understand SOAP UI basics. So first of all, we need to understand what is SOAP UI. So SOAP UI is a tool from a smart beer for functional performance and security testing of the web services. So here we can see it support functional performance and security testing of web services. But this tool is mainly used for the functional testing of the web services. It provides basic support of performance and security testing as well. We get free as well as paid version of the SOAP UI. So paid version, it's a licensed version. You have to purchase the license for it. But free version is completely free. Uh, as we can understand, free version will have limited set of functionalities. Most of the advanced tasks, if you want to do in free version, that will be done by using programming. In paid version, we can perform a lot of tasks even without touching the programming language. SOAP UI support both kind of services like SOAP services as well as REST services. Language which we are going to use to write coding in SOAP UI is Groovy. But it also supports JavaScript programming language. But for this complete course, we are going to use Groovy as a programming language. We have already seen how we can set up SOAP UI on machine. I'm going to show you basic features. I am moving to my start menu and here I am writing SOAP UI and starting the SOAP UI Pro. Once the SOAP UI Pro will be started, I will describe the environment of the SOAP UI. Here the SOAP UI is started and that is the first window which we are getting. Here this is the navigator screen, here we can create project, test suite test cases so everything will be created over here when we create project so whatever the details you want to see you want to check for the project we can get it in this right hand side window this is the menu bar and that is the toolbar so here we can get, see the properties we are going to understand it in the future in next session i'll show you the architecture of the soap project so like First of all, we have the workspace, then we will create project, then test suites, then test cases, then test steps. So this architecture will be explained. I'll explain into the next session. That's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video.